Today, I'm going to be going over one of the questions that I get a lot, and it's what bidding strategy do you use for new campaigns? And this is going to be more geared towards search campaigns. So when we're launching a brand new search campaign, how do we set up our bidding strategy? So first things first, when you set up your conversion tracking, you're either going to have a conversion value attached to your conversion. So you'll have a conversion value divided by cost here. Basically, what is your return on ad spend? or every single conversion is gonna count as one for your business. So basically, are you driving purchases or are you driving leads? So if you're actually driving direct revenue with your conversions where you have a conversion value attached to it, for example, a Shopify website that is an e-commerce website that's selling products, or a website that's selling different types of, any different types of course materials or any different types of products, then you would have a conversion value actually attached to each individual conversion. The other case is going to be a company that drives leads. So a local service business, somebody that drives phone calls, form fills, appointments, uh, anything like that is going to have a conversion value generally of one attached to each conversion. Now you can adjust your conversion value, but this is a really important part of this video when I'm setting up a new bidding strategy. So if you have a conversion value attached versus if you don't, if every conversion is counts as one for your business, then it's going to be slightly different in the way that you set up your bidding strategy. And then the last part over here is going to be for bidding, what do you want to focus on? So this is just an example of a performance max campaign. They give you two options when it comes to bidding, conversions or conversion value. So when you're running a performance max campaign, if you have a value attached to each individual conversion, then you want to use the maximize conversion value bidding strategy and just continue using that bidding strategy for your campaign. The other option is conversions, and that's if you're trying to drive leads. I haven't seen as much success trying to drive leads with a Performance Max campaign. I've seen more success running Performance Max for e-commerce companies because you, we actually have a conversion value attached to each individual conversion that's happening on our website. So coming back over here, let's just say you launched a brand new search campaign. So this is just an example of a search campaign. Now, before you launch your search campaign, the thing you should do first and foremost is in your goals, go to conversions and go to your summary. And you want to make sure you have conversion actions imported into your Google ads account. You can create new conversion actions for your website on an app for phone calls. You can import conversions directly from your Google analytics for account in addition to your CRM. So you can always import conversions very easily into Google ads. Otherwise you can set up website conversions for all of these different actions, online sales, link clicks, page views, signups. So for example, if your goal is online sales, you are going to be optimizing for conversion value. If your goal is signups, you are going to be optimizing for conversions unless there is a value attached to each individual signup. Now there are some different cases, but for the most part, this is how you are going to be tracking your conversions. Now, if we come back over here and we look at some of my conversion actions here, each of my conversion actions count as one for my business. So what I'm trying to do is drive affiliate clicks on my website. So I want people to come to my website and click on some of my affiliate offers. We also have generate lead here. So these are lead conversions. So really what I'm trying to do is drive each individual conversion. And you'll see this when you set up your conversion actions and the way that you actually set them up in the settings is one of the things you're going to see here is value. Use the value and currency from Google analytics for a property. If there's no value, use $1 for each conversion. Since I'm generating leads, there is no value attached to each individual conversion. So when you are setting up a brand new campaign and you're trying to figure out how should I bid on this brand new campaign? So. So as we come in here, let's just say you created your campaign, you have all your ad groups set up. As you can see here, this campaign exists for the sole purpose of tutorials, but I can still teach with a campaign that's not actively running by giving you the overall strategy that I use for a new campaign. So let's come back over here. Let's say you just launched your search campaign and you want to update your bidding strategy. Even if you didn't just launch your search campaign, that's perfectly fine. What I would recommend doing is coming over here to tools and under budgets and bidding, you're going to click here and go to bid strategies. This is going to open up your portfolio bid strategies and you can create bid strategies and apply them to your campaigns. The reason why I like doing this is because when we click on the plus sign, we have four smart bidding strategies here. There's six total, but there's four. If we're using conversion tracking target CPA, so we are setting our bids to get the most conversions possible while reaching your average cost per acquisition goal. Target return on ad spend sets bids to help you get the most conversion value while maintaining your return on ad spend. Maximize conversions sets bids to get the most conversions possible within your budget. Maximize conversion value sets bids to get the most conversion value possible within your budget. So these are the four main smart bidding strategies that you can target. Now, when I'm setting up a brand new campaign, there are different things I take into account. 
if I'm working with a client with a massive budget where we're doing a ton of testing and they want to absolutely test everything, they're not overly concerned on the initial performance when we're launching campaigns, I will click on the plus sign here and I will use either maximize conversions if we are trying to drive leads, maximize conversion value if we are trying to drive sales. So this is generally how I'll start campaigns for a larger budget that, or a larger budget client that is looking to do more testing and isn't too worried about the initial overall results when we first launch the campaign. Now for other clients and for campaigns that I've ran in the past and things are a little bit tighter and you're trying to reach a specific cost per acquisition goal or you're trying to reach a specific return on ad spend goal. What I generally recommend doing is coming over here to the target return on ad spend bidding strategy. So name your bid strategy. You can select your campaigns that you want to apply it to. So select your brand new search campaign. Now what we can do is we can set a few controls in place. Now, from my conversations with Google Ads reps, and who knows if this is true, a standard maximized conversion value bidding strategy is going to set a target return on ad spend of 200% when it gets started. So it's going to basically say we want to drive a 200% return on ad spend, and we're going to do some testing to achieve that goal. What you can do instead is to say, I want to put a few constraints in place where we're maybe not testing as much, and I want to have a target return on ad spend of 300%. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a maximum bid limit. And let's just say we use a maximum bid limit. This really depends on how much the overall cost per click is for your client. Um, the maximum bid limit, let's just say we set it at $3. So what this does is it makes sure that any of your bids are always at $3 or less. I have ran campaigns that have started with the maximized conversion value bidding strategy. And for the first week, our overall average cost per click is over $5. And I just know that the campaign is not going to be profitable. So you may say the only way this campaign is going to be profitable is if we drive clicks to our website. And this is where you can take into account your average order value, your overall conversion rate, and look at some of the data that you already have. So then what you can do is say, okay, we need a 300% target return on ad spend. And really the only way that we are going to accomplish this is with a maximum bid limit of $1. And if you find my campaign's really not spending, we're not getting enough activity, we're not really getting anything out of this, then what you can do over time is you can adjust this return on ad spend slightly down and adjust this slightly up. So that allows Google ads to go out and do a little bit more testing for your campaign. And you may find this campaign is just not going to be profitable for our business. You also may find, okay, we're starting to drive some sales. We're getting more conversion data because really your campaign is going to improve with conversion data and you have a target return on ad spend around 250%. Then what you could do is you could start scaling this up. Uh, so we scale this upwards and we scale this downwards. So you don't necessarily have to scale this downwards, but by doing both, what it does is it controls the overall cost per click. The one issue with using maximum bid limits is it's going to price you out of certain ad auctions and it may price you out of more valuable ad auctions. So if we click on cancel here, let's do a target CPA example. So what you could do is either maximize conversions, same issue sometimes. Um, I recently launched a maximize conversions bid strategy, new campaign for a client, $500 daily budget. Okay, so we, we start with a $500 daily budget. I do maximize conversions and their cost per click on the very first day is $20. Now that is just way too high. And they immediately email me and say, this, is the, this cost per click is very high. And I said, I agree. So what I did is I came in here and this is generally what I'm doing now because just feel Google kind of spends client budgets a, a little bit funny sometimes. Include the campaign that we're using. And generally a client will give me, I need a target CPA for this of, and we'll, we'll just make up a number here. So let's just say it's $75. So we're trying to drive conversions at $75 per less. And I can come in here to advanced options and say, okay, we're going to set a maximum bid limit of $7. This is going to allow us to test, but also allow us to control our costs a little bit. So what I've been doing is basically for large budget clients, maximize conversions, maximize conversion value. And when I set their budget initially, I don't set it at the very, very top end rate. If they're spending $1,000 a day, then maybe you set it at 700, 500. Um, so set it slightly lower while we're in the testing period. What this allows you to do is throughout the course of the month, when your client wants to spend more and get more out of their budget, then what you could always do is increase that budget. Some clients are not as concerned about their direct return on ad spend from the first month, second month, third month of running Google ads. So they say, okay, let's do some testing, especially when you can kind of educate. Yeah, if we do a little bit of testing in the beginning, it's going to help our overall campaign results in the end. 
Clients that are spending much more get more test data quicker. If they're driving a lot of conversions, you have more information much quicker. It becomes easier to test. And what you can do in that case is start with one of these bid strategies. Get to, okay, our return on ad spend after the first month is 300%. Now what we want to do is we want to set a target return on ad spend and say we want to drive 350% and we are going to set a maximum bid limit and apply that bid strategy to our campaign. For a client that, for example, we'll use the target CPA example, um, they want a target CPA of $75 or less. So let's just say we want to drive $75 or less. And if we come in here to the advanced options, we can set a maximum bid limit. And if we have no historic data whatsoever, what we could always do is say, okay, let's just start this campaign like this. We're running $500 a day campaign. So we have $500 a day. Our target CPA is $75 and our maximum bid limit is $5. Now, when you look at the maximum bid limit here, $5 with a target CPA of $75 and a $500 average daily budget, then you can actually say, okay, at least we're going to be driving enough clicks to actually get enough data. And you can always decrease this as you go. You can always decrease this as you go. And ultimately what you're trying to do with your bidding and with your budget is to find that ideal spot where they, you say, okay, we're able to drive leads at $50 per day. We can set a maximum bid limit of $3 for our campaign. And now not $50 a day, $50 per lead. $3 for our maximum bid limit. We're spending $500 a day so we can consistently drive 10 new leads every single day. And over time, if we start to see, okay, we're actually improving this and we, we continue to test different things into our account, whether it's landing pages, whether it's ads, whether it's new targeting, um, anything like that, improving the offer on the website, every single possible signal that we can test, then what we could always do is scale this down slowly. So this is generally how I start bid strategies for a new campaign. For the most part, I will start with a portfolio bid strategy and use the target CPA or target return on ad spend because it allows me to say, you know what? I want this campaign to be profitable for the company I'm working for. So if I, if even if I start it a little bit lower where we're not profitable and we set a maximum bid limit and we say, okay, we need at least. We cannot spend more than $3 per click based on the conversion rate on their website, based on average order value. If we know, okay, with a $3 maximum bid limit, that means we can drive, let's say, 100 clicks at $300. If we know our conversion rate on our website is 3%, 4%, then you need to have an understanding of, okay, will our average order value allow us to actually be profitable with this campaign? Same thing with target CPA. It's just the only difference is you're trying to drive leads. This, you're trying to drive sales. I like setting maximum bid limits. Wouldn't be surprised if Google just gets rid of these altogether so they can drive bids absolutely through the roof for the Google ads platform, but hopefully that's not the case. So this is how I start a new campaign with bid strategies, generally using a target CPA or target return on ad spend, even if it's slightly less or like in terms of return on ad spend or slightly more in terms of our target CPA than what's actually profitable for our client in the beginning. So if our client says we want a $50 cost per acquisition, I could say, okay, let's start with $100. As we start to collect some data, our client's spending, you know, maybe $300 a day. So maybe we could drive three conversions per day and we want to set a maximum bid limit of $6. And this really depends on the overall competition in the space, what the keywords are targeting, overall search volume, and you can find more of that data by going to planning over here on the left, going to the keyword planner and looking up average cost per click data. You could also start to see some of this information as you run your campaign. If you find your campaigns not running, you can always use either a manual strategy or a maximized clicks for several days. Um, just use maximized clicks, which will generally keep your cost per click slightly down anyway. As you start to get some more of that data, then you can switch over to one of these other bidding strategies. Maximize conversions, maximize conversion value. Great for testing, great for large budgets, not the best for a client that is trying to really reach a, a specific goal with how much they want to spend per lead or the overall return on ad spend they want to drive, which generally most clients are looking at both of these metrics very, very closely. So this is bidding for new campaigns. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.